<laughs> Hi, we are here at Disney's Animal Kingdom and we're going over to Dinosaur Land because it might be headed for extinction soon. And we're also hopefully gonna go on Cali River Rapids. I tried to wear something I didn't care about getting wet because it just reopened after refurbishment. We're also gonna try a new treat today. Maybe we'll see some animals and we're just gonna have a fun day. I'm Brittany and this is Extra Magic Minutes. Let's go have fun. Dinoland USA today because Disney recently filed permits to start a construction area that's kind of nearby Dinosaur Land. It's going to have trailers for Walt Disney Imagineering and trailers for construction. They're going to build a road, a bunch of parking spots. And they've been talking about retheming Dinoland for years now. Um, both Encanto and Indiana Jones were announced at Destination D23 last year and then Josh Damaro did an interview where he said Coco as well. So it's going to be a tropical America, South America themed land. So in just looking at the concept art and then like rumors that we've heard it seems like the dinosaur ride is going to be rethemed to Indiana Jones and it's not going to be exactly the same as the Indiana Jones ride that's in Disneyland it has a similar ride vehicle like a similar type of ride but they said it will have a different story it'll be its own thing it won't be a carbon copy of it so that's really great so I'm really excited about it there's a lot of cool animals in South America too so hopefully they'll incorporate those in um, I think like some of the IP is a little tenuous Dino Land is really cool Everybody loves dinosaurs. Like every kid goes through a dinosaur phase, right? It's very, very themed. It's a town that's off of Route 66 um, where they discovered dinosaur fossils or dinosaurs there. And everywhere you look, there's like tiny dinosaurs, little details. They did decide to make it like a county fair. It has the little games that you pay to play. And unfortunately, like I don't think that, that the story comes through for guests. They just see like a parking lot with rides. And then when they closed Primeval World a few years ago, they didn't put anything else there. So it's just like more asphalt. It doesn't look like a complete land anymore. They'll probably announce more at D23, which is in August this year, and we have all the information up about D23 on our website, so I'll put that link in the description below, right below the like and the subscribe buttons. Yeah, we just thought we'd go on Dinosaur today, go on Primeval World. No. <laughs> Let's close! <laughs> Triceratops spin. I can't even remember the names of the rides. I don't know why I always get those rides confused. They were not that similar. Um, one was like a roller coaster that went like this, and one is still there. It's like a Dumbo, but dinosaurs. So, I mean, I think that the theming is cool, but I am excited to see South America, and I think it really fits in with the, you know, it's Africa, Asia, South America. I think that that makes a little bit more sense. Uh, they were gonna have this area be Zootopia, but um, Zootopia Moana, but I don't really think Zootopia is as good of a fit as Indiana Jones, as like a South America, Central America theme. I think that's really great. And they are going to have Zootopia in the Tree of Life. They are getting rid of the Bugs Life show, which is so sad. You know, I guess like Bugs Life is not as popular as Zootopia is, so I guess that's why they're doing that. But I love the Bugs Life show. So let's go over to Dinosaur, and then we're gonna come back over to Restaurantosaurus after that and try this s'mores shake that I've wanted to try for a while but I just like haven't come over here um, and we're gonna check it out it looks really good okay let's go on a ride dinosaurs Dinosaur Sue, she's kind of a big deal. This is an exact replica of the largest Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton that they found. She was a 90% complete fossil, so that's pretty cool. And she's very big. Look how big her foot is. She weighed seven tons and was 42 feet in length. That's pretty heavy. 
seven times. Good for you, girl. dinosaurs in here. What a clever thing to say. Octopus is designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. We're gonna go find some dinosaurs! Let's go get that dino. Not hard to... Warning, meteor shower in range. Just a little bit. They're macaron themed, and I have the other two, so the other one pair and a bucket hat, so I have to get these. We have Doug over here, there's a squirrel, so we had to go film it. We actually saw Doug on the way in. Doug and Russell are back doing meet and greets, but we want to come out and do the Wilderness Explorers at some point, so we'll meet them then. But we did go through both gift shops on the way out of Dinosaur. We went through the Dino Institute gift shop, and then we also went to Chester and Hester's. Um, I love Chester and Hester's. That is such a well-themed store. It is amazing in there. I wish all the Disney stores were like that. It reminds me of the ones like in the mall in the 90s where they had like all the animatronics and like interactive features. Anyway, this one's full of dinosaurs. And they also often have merchandise there and at the entrance shop at Animal Kingdom. They always have 
like merch that's hard to find or that's sold out. I don't know if it's just because people don't buy as much merch over here or they get more of it, but they always have things that I'm looking for, so I did buy those macaron ears. I love that store. I hope that they have something similarly themed when they change everything over to the South America, that they have like a really highly themed merchandise store because um, they should all be like that. I don't like the like corporate-y looking Disney stores. I feel like they should be have more whimsy. Anyway, that one is full of whimsy and a train and a million dinosaurs. So we did already go on Dinosaur and it was really fun. I'm not sure how the footage is going to turn out because most of that ride is really dark and it was very bumpy. <laughs> Which I know it's bumpy but it, with the camera it was like... <laughs> And we sat in the back row um, so that the camera wouldn't bother anybody and uh, the back row was even bumpier, I think, than the front. Next we have the S'morosaurus Shake from Restaurantosaurus. So many sauruses. This is really good. It has a chocolate covered s'more, toasted marshmallows, it has caramel in there, it has chocolate in there, and it's ice cream. It also has a cute little dinosaur. He's uh, swimming now. He's in the tar pits. <laughs> there he is. The s'more is maybe the best part. It's like really good. The chocolate's high quality. It's a little messy to eat though. Oh. Can't really go wrong with chocolate covered s'more dipped in ice cream. So <laughs> it's really good. I hope it stays on the menu for as long as Dino Land is here. They also have really good ice cream at Dino Bites. They have ice cream sandwiches with homemade cookies. They're really, really good. There was one day where I was really hungry and that really hit the spot. I will say the s'moresaurus shake it's more source shake. It was over $9 with tax, so that's pretty expensive for a shake. But it does have a cookie on it, it does have the toasted marshmallows. I'm not sure that it's worth the value because you could almost get like a whole lunch for that price. Like only a few dollars more you can get like chicken and fries or like a sandwich. Sandwich. So yeah, it's pretty expensive as far as desserts go. If this is a snack credit um, for the dining plan, it would absolutely be worth getting though because that is well above the threshold for a good value for a snack. But for me paying out of pocket, it's pretty expensive. But it was really good. I just don't think I'd get it again for that price. So the coolest thing is that we were over here in January for our Four Parks One Day video. Then we saw these birds building their nest and now they have a baby. They're little storks and uh, the baby's so fluffy and white and cute. Good for them. should not have had that s'more sore shake before going on the speedy ride. You make mistakes and you live and learn and I didn't throw up so it's all fine. Um, one of the other things that I really love about Dino Land that I forgot to mention earlier is that they have like their own radio station. It has like DJs. They talk a lot about how they changed it to Donald's Dino Bash because Donald is a duck and ducks are dinosaurs. Um, so they play like DuckTales music. They play a lot of like 90s songs and early 2000s songs, so that appeals to me. And I did want to mention I also wore my Darkwing Duck shirt today because I feel like this shirt's very 90s. I don't really have anything dinosaur-y, but I felt like this was, you know, Launchpad used to meet over here, so I feel like it fits in the theme. 
Um, but we're gonna go over to Cali River Rapids now. We haven't been on that ride in years because it's always down for refurbishment in the winter because it, when it's cold, nobody wants to go on the water ride, so they fix everything up. Uh, it is temporarily down. <laughs> It was running earlier, so I'm hoping by the time we walk over there, it will be back up. If not, we'll have a nice little, um, what do they call it, a hot girl walk? I'm not gonna call it that. We'll have a nice little walk. So we're gonna walk over there. We'll see if the ride's running. If it's running, we'll go on it. If not, uh, I don't know. We'll see where the day takes us. And if you enjoyed coming with us to Dino Land, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps support our channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe. We also are gonna be back at Animal Kingdom soon because it's gonna be Earth Day and they have a whole celebration for Earth Month. It's also Animal Kingdom's opening day, birthday on Earth Day. So, well, that rhymed. <laughs> So there'll be lots of things to do. They'll have special treats. They'll have other things going on. And they just announced this morning that they're gonna have a big Lion King celebration in the summer at Animal Kingdom to celebrate Lion King's 30th anniversary, which makes me feel so old. Uh, they're gonna have special treats, a merchandise collection. They said the Timon and Pumbaa popcorn buckets will be back out, although I've seen them out today and I already have a Pumbaa popcorn bucket, but it's really my mom's. She's gonna be mad that I said it was mine. But I keep it at my apartment, so I get to bring it with me when I come. Sorry, mom, I'm gonna borrow Pumbaa. But they will have those. They'll have new merchandise. They'll have food, other Lion King fun things. Um, they just announced that, so uh, yeah, I'm excited. So many fun things at Animal Kingdom this summer and at all the other parks. So yeah, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And uh, let's go over to Asia. single riders but it's usually very quick if you don't mind like you know for the 30 seconds you're on the ride or the minute whatever you just sit with somebody else the person that you're probably with is like you know a few rows behind you and it's a really fast way to get on the ride we miss you kite tails i wish they'd bring it back now it's just nothing phone now because we were afraid of bringing the camera on the ride so we're gonna see how it turns out I don't really know we really need to get like a GoPro or something for things like this but it doesn't happen that often so for now it's the phone <laughs>
that one. There he is, the villain. <laughs> it's been so long since we've been on that ride. I'm not sure how the footage turned out because we filmed it on the phone. Um, but we had a really good time. I didn't get too wet right at the end. An elephant squirted me. A person pressed the button and got me right in the face. Before that, I was pretty dry. Um, yeah, I love that this ride is back up. I hope next time we come, we'll have to go on it again. It's really fun. It's pretty short though. There's like one drop. Anyway, we had a great time today in Dino Land and then on Cali River Rapids. And we'll see you in the next video.